Hey guys, Crypto Mike here with the mic check. One, two, one, two. Is this thing on? Please hit the thumbs ups, the subscribe button, and the notification bell to get notified of my live streams and every video that I put out. Very interesting stuff, okay? Now, let me just show you this one tweet that I tweeted out. It was received very well, and for that reason, I know some of you guys aren't on Twitter. Um, I wanna show you a, a realization that I came to the other day, and I tweeted this out. It's about Bearable Guy and the number 22 XRP. This is not gematria. This is straight up numerology. 22 equals AU, which equals gold. AU is the, the element, the, the symbology of, of gold, okay? Um, it's the ticker, okay? A is the first letter of the alphabet. U is the 21st letter of the alphabet. Together, they're 22. Now, 22 is a common theme among, uh, 22 is a common thing among Bearable Guy. He's been giving us little hints here and there of the number 22. And a lot, of, a lot of us have been really trying to figure out what it means. What is 22? Now, 22 spokes, 22 rays in the sun, okay? Um, five plus eight plus nine equals 22. His sun in the background is 22. It's five, you can go around, you can count. Five and then eight and then nine, and they all equal 22. Okay, there's 22 of them. And <clears throat> so therefore 589, our, our, our infamous 589 equals gold. Now look it up in the upper left-hand corner, 1111. I did not plan that, it just happened to be. And for that reason, I do believe, plus the little, the little uh, lion. You guys see that little lion symbol up there? That's gold too. Okay, that's, no, that's another mark that they put on gold. I'm telling you, that's the universe telling us, yes, you're on the right track. All right. Um, the whole focus has been on gold this entire time. XRP and gold is a real thing and it's coming to fruition. I guarantee you. Well, I can't guarantee that. You know, I, I don't know anything like, you know, 100%, but it really does make sense. So 589 is gold. Okay, gold, gold, gold. And also he has bricks, you know, he's got bricks there. I wonder if they're just concrete bricks or if they're actually made of silver. I don't know. Because not all silver is shiny, you know. They, they need to polish it for it to be shiny. Some of the silver I buy comes in, it's not that shiny, okay? It just looks like that, all right? So you guys, um, yeah, it's it, and also... Um, the sun is a symbol of gold in ancient, uh, in, in pagan uh, symbolism, okay? So I'm just going to go through some of these uh, comments here. Now, L4L Silver says, didn't see anyone say this, 22 in Gematria is MAGA, okay? Make America gold again. Ah. And that's true, you know, we, we used to be on the gold standard. We're going back to it, okay? This time, we're bringing... Gold is bringing along its new friend, the new standard, XRP. Now, Q, post 3393, he specifically states, gold shall destroy Fed. And by Fed, he means Federal Reserve. Okay? Now, he has 22 eyelashes in this one, okay? And you guys, Bearable Guy's a lot deeper than we than we even know. Trust me on that. He's a lot deeper, guys. A lot deeper than most people give him credit for. I mean, he's got these moons. We're still kind of, I'm still trying to figure out what these mean. If you know what they mean, let me know in the comments section. If you know exactly what he's trying to portray with these moons. Don Barafranco says, my intuition says you got it. This is the first Gematria I see that I agree with, but it's contradictory because I don't think XRP will be pegged to gold. I don't think XRP maybe, maybe not XRP, but maybe the stable coin, okay? Maybe the stable coin, the XRP um, stable, XRPX or whatever it's called. And then it'll be pegged to gold, you know, backed by XRP. It'll be backed by gold, which will be backed by like XRP. 
Okay. Um, oh, look, someone, I did not see this yet. Yep, there we go. Oh, that's interesting. That's an Egyptian gold symbol right there. And that's what his eyelashes look like. Very cool. Um, also, I, I have pointed this out a few times to you guys. This is a symbol for gold. It's also the target symbol. All right. And it's on the knight in shining armor. All right. Interesting. Um, and right here as well, we have that spear. Okay. Gold spear. Uh, let's go down. There was, a, there was one more that I really wanted to show you guys. Now this one also, this was a, one of the ripple offices. I forgot which one. Um, obviously they're in America, but it's one of the ripple offices on July 4th. They took a group photo and in this group photo, you see, it looks like probably the manager or one of the head honchos here. It looks like one of the important ones. Um, right in the middle, he's wearing a shirt that has a Ripple logo with an X and AU. And AU is the symbol for gold. Okay, that's that's what, um, oh, that's the ticker for gold. Haha. <laughs> XRP Venture says, I love this, Mike. I've been talking about this since my first video. I think this is what they want. Now they just need to pull it off. Good job. And guess what, guys? Bearable Guy is following XRP Venture. Just keep that in mind. Level Playing Field says, you may be onto something this time. Read this from Joel Katz on Quora, which further strengthens your point. Um, since I haven't read it yet, I'm not going to open it because you know, I don't know exactly what it is. Um, there's always the, you know, there's always the skeptics. This guy says, slap hand hard to forehead. Um, he could have just emojied it to me. I don't care. <laughs> I mean, that's, you know what? I'll give him a like. Good for you, man. Good for you. I hope for your sake... You sold your XRP to someone who really wanted it. Mike, you're too much. <laughs> That's awesome, Mike. Okay, so um, seven, seven planetary metals. I think I posted this, did I? Yeah, I posted this here. We have gold as the sun, okay? Gold has the symbol of the sun. Okay, that this is just more ties, more ties to gold. Now, also David Schwartz, you know, David Schwartz posted a... A cryptic Kit Kat tweet, you know, um, and I believe it has many different meanings, especially when it comes to this. You know, we can take it as like regulations product. You know, the United States is is coming up. Um, all right, we're we're gonna find out what this means. But he did post Kit Kats, and this was a week after the Economist cover came out with. Well, what, what do those look like? Gold Kit Kats, right? And like I was saying, the mark, you know, that little lion right there in the middle, that's the mark they put on gold bars. Um, and I'll tell you the truth. Some people think it's an upside down 666, which is probably, yeah, it's probably accurate since The Economist is owned by the Rothschilds and we kind of know what they're all about, right? So we could see that this probably is an upside down 666. It's their way of putting this kind of, um, symbology out there in plain sight for us to see without really seeing it, you know, unless we look, unless we have people like me and other, you know, other guys, other people pointing this kind of stuff out. Now the little mark, the lion, yeah, that is, um, that is, you know, something they mark gold bars with. Um, so I do believe this has something in relation to do with this. Now, also real quick, I want to also show you that he's wearing a gold ripple pin um, pegged to his lapel. And this is David Schwartz, by the way, the CTO, the chief technology officer, the creator of the XRP ledger and one of the co-creators of the XRP coin. All right. Um, so with Trump in the with gold in the background of all his, you know, big um, conferences with Canada, you know, Japan, uh, China, the China US trade deal, everything in this office was gold. Okay, what does that signify to you? Come on, you guys, why would they make everything gold colored when they're talking about a big, big, big trade deal that is definitely going to include gold? I mean, 
it's a no brainer to me, guys. No brainer. All right. Um, so just wanted to show you those few things. Uh, very interesting stuff. Now I also did. Um, I want to show you one more thing. One more thing. This is really, really. I mean, well, eye opening. Um, just need to find it in my Canva folder. Where is it? Here it is. I made this yesterday, and when you look at this chart here, we got derivatives in the quadrillions, 1.2 quadrillion dollars worth of derivatives out there, okay? Biggest market out there. Now, the higher risks of default are the ones with the bigger and more bloated uh, markets, market caps, okay? Now, when you come back down, your your, your risk tolerance is, is uh, much more, okay? especially when you come down to paper money and then gold, okay? And then silver is even less of that market cap. And guess what is way, way, way less of the gold market cap? Cryptocurrency, which only has a $200 billion market cap, okay? So you tell me, is cryptocurrency really um, gonna go back down? With all the money out there, when when everything starts collapsing, money's gonna shift into places that are very low. Trust me, trust me. A lot of people think, oh, it's gonna collapse. Crypto's gonna go down. Now, depending on regulations, and that's why we have to be in, that's why I'm diversified, but I'm also in coins that are in compliance, okay? That work with the SEC, and they're gonna make sure that they, they are very compliant within regulatory guidelines, okay guys? Now, I just wanted to show you that. Um, hopefully that opens your eyes a little bit and gives you a little more confidence in the upcoming recession, okay guys? So silver, gold, and crypto, they should all do very well, in my opinion, okay? During this next upcoming recession, they should all be very good hedges. All right, guys, um, love you guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up. If you really didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. And um, you guys be good people. Spread positive energy. Always smile if you can. Okay, that was creepy. That was like bearable guy status. Anyways, guys, I love you guys. Have a great day. Crypto Mike out. Peace.